was not on that list. And that upset me, and I felt it was time that we introduce legislation and let people know, the gay and lesbian people of Pennsylvania know, that there are some people who are fighting for you here in Pennsylvania. I would also say that we were supposed to have a debate. Unfortunately, the weather uh, postponed it for tonight. We will reschedule it with uh, Maggie Gallagher, head of National Organization for Marriage. Um, we had to get Maggie to come from out of state because I have had trouble finding anyone in state who will debate me on this issue. Um, I would say that it's not because I'm such a brilliant debater, but it's very difficult, although I am. <laughs> but it's because it is very difficult to debate when there is no rational argument to be made. And that's not just me saying this. Interestingly enough, if you follow the Proposition 8 trial out in California, recently the attorney who defending Proposition 8, who has been litigating on the side of stopping marriage equality for 15 years, was asked by the judge, Judge Vaughn, uh, this is Attorney Cooper, what harm will this do? What harm will this do to straight couples, to society? What harm will, give me some specific harm that allowing gay people their marriage equality rights will cause. And I'm quoting here, this is not a paraphrase, this is a quote. The man who's been defending uh, uh, stopping marriage equality for 15 years said, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Brilliant. Now I begged others in Pennsylvania who have been opposing this to give me a rational argument. And so far, I have not had anyone come forth with that willing to discuss with me on the same stage. All the good things, um, and, and let me, well, let me start out by saying this. Nobody denies that providing marriage equality is good for gay and lesbian people. There is nobody who denies that. Having more married people forming families is better than having more single people, according to the most conservative commentators, or more people cohabitating. So there must be a compelling reason to deny same-sex same -sex couples the opportunity to get married. But again, there is not. Let me just go through a couple of the issues very quickly. Some people say marriage is between a man and a woman. That is not an argument, that is, a state of, that is a statement of current law in some places. At some points in American history, you could say marriage is between a white man and a white woman, or a black man and a black woman. That would have been just as true and equally unconvincing in terms of an argument. Some people say, my God doesn't like same-sex marriage, which is fine. If your God opposes same-sex marriage, do not marry someone of the same sex. No one is forcing you to do that. But we do not live in a theocracy. I would also say my God does support same-sex marriage, so that not, not everybody agrees with you even on that. And even on the, own, the, the terms of the people who make that argument, the fact is that while some people argue that the Christian Bible 